Intermediate Accounting 28A, Leases, Expensing, Lease Agreements. This is Ken Boyd, the owner of St. Louis Test Preparation. Here's our Facebook page, St. Louis Test Prep. The email address and the website and the book, Cost Accounting for Dummies, will be out in March of 13, and we're teaching the entire course online. So this has to do with leases, which we've done on other videos, but this is particularly deals with lease agreement payments and we can have different payments depending on our contract. So here's the concept. What if there are payments made to modify your lease property? So maybe you lease a building and there has to be uh, reinforced flooring put in because you're a manufacturer and you have heavy machinery or landscaping or whatever. <coughs> Excuse me. If the life of the modifications are assumed to last for the term of the lease. So the reinforced flooring and the landscaping you expect to last for at least the five-year term of the lease or longer. Then we're going to amortize on a straight line basis the modifications over the life of the lease. So that's going to be an extra cost that's going to be amortized over the life of the lease, which in my example is five years. A security deposit is not immediately expensed and may not be expensed at all because if you operate within the terms of the lease agreement, you may give it, by definition, get that deposit back. A deposit is always something that can be returned, so it's not expensed necessarily. So in year one, we're not going to expense it. The last month's rent, if we're going to match revenue with expenses, we're not going to expense the last month and the first month. We're going to match that with the last month when we use the leased property, in this case a building. So we're going to expense the lease payment in the last month of the year when we use the building in the last month of the year. So here's an example. On 7-1-X-1, Acme leased office space from a lessor for five years for 10000 a month. On that date, 7-1-X-1, Acme paid the lessor these amounts. So the lessor asked for a security deposit. The first month's rent, 10000 The last month's rent, 10000 And a non-refundable reimbursement that we pay the lessor for modifications we had to make to the lease property, and that was $70,000. That was a cost for us, us being Acme that leased the space. So the total costs to account for are $110,000. And the question is, well, one more thing before the question. We assume that Acme, the company that's leasing us, pay the rent on time each month during 2001. And now the question, which payments to the lessor should be recognized as deferred, that is not expense, deferred in a future year is a 1231X1. So, a couple of steps. The first thing we do is compute the amortization on those lease modifications. So, 70000 was the total payments. If I divide that by five years, that's 14000 a year. And if I divide that amount by 12 months, I get about $1,166 a month. If I want to take six months of amortization, That's going to be $7,000 that I expense in X1. And if I'm expensing $70,000 in X1, that means I'm deferring to expense in future years $63,000. Step two, add amortization to the other 2,000 X1 expenses. So the first six months of rent, $7,000 there. I'm sorry, the first months of the amortization, $7,000, which was the number taken up here, I was mistaken. The first month's rent, we expense that, and in fact, not only will we have the rent for the first month, but we're going to have six months worth of expenses. So if I do all six months, scrolling back down, Six months of rent. That's going to be ten thousand times six. 
So it's not only the first month, but all six months. So that my total 2001 expense is $67,000. I add the amortization to my other expenses. In other words, now I want to total up um, how much cost is going to be deferred in future periods. Well, we already learned up here the deferred amortization is $63,000. The security deposit is going to get deferred into a future period, and the last month's rent is going to get deferred into a future period. All these are deferred. All these, in other words, are not expensed at 1231-2000-X1. You could also, at the end, verify that all the costs have been accounted for. So our total cost, if I count the last six months of rent, we're going to expense 67,000, which is the 2001 expenses. We're going to defer 93,000, which I've detailed right here. That's a total of 160,000. If I go back up to the top of the problem, and I add in the last five months of rent, I'm going to type that in with both hands. And I'm going to add that one line up. And if I change my formula, my formula now, after a subtotal, shows that there are $160,000 that I need to account for. And if I go down to the bottom of the page, I see that I've accounted or I've put $160,000 worth of, ex of costs either into the deferred column or into the 01 expense column. That's the end of the expensing lease payments video. You can go to our website for additional videos and spreadsheets not on YouTube. Here's our YouTube channel. You can email me for a complete list of all the videos on YouTube by type. For live tutoring and chat sessions one-on-one, -on -one, here's the website. And remember that cost accounting for dummies will be a free ongoing course year-round that we'll offer. Thanks very much, and we'll see you next time.